All right, so now while we're speaking about numbers, it's important to remember that the conversation we're having now is that of the ballooning wage bill, right? Ghana seems to have no problem with it. We're fine with our 20 cabinet secretaries. But this was a big feature in the president's final State of the Nation address that we had last week before the August 2017 election. And of course, the big carrot that was being dangled in that speech was that of wage bill and a pay cut for government officials. Listen to this. This rep report recommends, amongst other things and other measures, a rationalization of the salaries and allowances paid to senior state officers, public servants, elected officials, from MCA all the way to president. That will result in a reduction in salaries and allowances for those elected in August this year. All right, so lest we forget, we have heard this speech before, actually, in 2013, incidentally, at the State of the Nation address. Take a listen. Leaders have shown themselves willing to lead by example. My cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries have accepted a 10% pay cut, and the deputy president joined me in taking a 20% pay cut. Lest we forget, immediately after that speech, the SRC embarked on a national conference discussing the wage bill. So this has been a problem from 2013, 2014 through to 2017. Surely something needs to be done about this. So how many pay cuts exactly have they taken? There was a 20% one in 2013, and then there's another one. Will this be a recurrent uh, thing? Well, lest we forget, it's a conversation we've heard uh, once before. As lest we forget tonight. We have the sports news and my take coming up next. <laughs>